Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So I want to talk about the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, here in the United States. Now, I'm hearing that they're not as nefarious as some think. Like, it's not a completely terrible, bad organization. No. They, I'm hearing that they do quite a bit of good. I'm hearing that they do quite a bit of good. Yeah, there's some bad in there, too. But there's so much that goes on behind the scenes that people just don't have any awareness of. So let's pull a card on the overall for the CIA, Central Intelligence Agency, here in the United States. Let's get an overall card. Okay, well, the star. Now... I find that very interesting, right, for the Central Intelligence Agency. So there's, it's, it's, like I was saying earlier, it is not really what people think it is. Um, but it, it, at any rate, it is the star. Now, the star is about dreams fulfilled, good prospects, improvement. And I hear that there are improvements that are going on within the organization that'll make it even better. It's not going away. It's not going to disappear. No. But it's just um, going to improve and get better. Because, like I was saying earlier, it's not what people think and I'm hearing that like in the movies and whatnot it's blown way out of proportion the things that they're that they show in the movies and, and how people are involved in this and that it's not anywhere near that that's not life art imitating life is what I'm hearing it's not to that degree of involvement or seriousness or you know even all of these people all over the world yes it is a i'm hearing it is global it is all over the world but not in the way that the movies depict it okay what else can you tell us about the central intelligence agency okay so the chariot so they uh the people there have a lot of determination and drive and they win a lot of the wars that they fight but i'm hearing that you know it's the negative that comes out into the uh, public eye a lot of the negative comes out into the public eye but behind the scenes there are a lot of really great determined hard-working people that are driven um to succeed and they're driven by success because they do know what success is it's not Again, and I continue to stress this, it is not what the movies tell us. The movies is a huge exaggeration. A huge exaggeration. All right, what else can you tell us about this organization? And again, there's some bad things in there. It's not all good, but it's not what people think. I just have to stress that. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's the sun. All right, well, there you have it. I mean, the Central Intelligence Agency, they shine a light on things, and I'm hearing especially right now, that need to be it's like, okay, look at it this way. They go into, the CIA goes into a, a old a house that's got, you know, it's, it's, um, it's abandoned and it's old and dirty and there's all kinds of things going on. And I would say nefarious things going on inside of this abandoned, dilapidated building. And the CIA goes in and they shine their flashlight on in in you know in the uh dilapidated abandoned building and all these roaches come out <laughs> so that's what i see like they're shining their light on things that are like being pushed out into the uh limelight out into the world 
I mean, look at the cards that we have for the Central Intelligence Agency. We have the star, the chariot, and the sun. These are all, as they say, major arcana. These are major cards, and they're all very good cards. Well, that's fantastic. So there you have it. Um, for those who question, I am, I am the seer, right? And there isn't anything that I'm telling you that isn't truthful. It is, that is not based in reality. And um, you can look at any of my readings and you'll find that these things will come to pass. And this is no different. I don't come out here and talk out the side of my neck. I don't pull cards and display them for you and share with you if it's, if it's smoke, if I'm blowing smoke. No, this is the truth. And this is the Central Intelligence Agency. So thank you for stopping by, The Humble Seer. Consider following me on Twitter. And until next time, you take good care. Bye.